Hey everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. Doing a species spotlight today on this plant here, Nepenthes ramispina. This is a beautiful, very elegant species from peninsular Malaysia. It's found at elevations between 900 and 2000 meters, uh, which puts it in the solid intermediate range uh, with a little bit of a highlander in the upper bounds. So this is a pretty easy plant to grow, probably can take a little bit higher temperatures on average than your, your normal highlanders. This plant's been pretty popular lately. I've noticed a lot of people looking for it. It's not easy to get your hands on. Uh, there's not a great supply of it, um, but you know, it's around. So, so keep an eye out. You, you might be able to find one. I think we might have one or two little basils around, um, but it's a gorgeous plant and uh, you'll probably see why in the course of this video. The thing it's most known for is the color contrast in the pitcher. The outside of the pitcher body uh, ages into this very nice darkish purple color. Uh, and then the inside is this creamy, creamy green that has very faint venation, but it's just this great, uh, this great, it pops right out. Uh, the color here is reminiscent of Nepenthes gracilima, and at one point Nepenthes ramispina was considered a, uh, a form of Nepenthes gracilima before it was elevated to uh, species status in its own right. You can see that fresh pitchers have a little bit more of a reddish color to the, uh, the pitcher and the peristome, but that ages in over time. So these are two pitchers on the same plant, uh, and the only difference is that the one on the right opened, I think, this week, and the one on the left's been open for, uh, for a month or so. Besides the pitchers, uh, it's got nice foliage. So it's got this kind of broad attachment, these lance-shaped leaves, and they've got a, a nice red midrib. The stem has uh, some nice red color to it as well. Um, and so it's got a very attractive little basil rosette. Um, one of the things about Nepenthes ramispina, though, is that it's a viner. So it's in this middle bench. Uh, I think I talked about this plant when I did the, uh, the bench tour a couple months ago. But coming up here, you can see the uppers. So uh, the uppers are larger than the lowers. They're paler. Um, they're a bit softer as well. And they've got this kind of... Uh, you know, well, they've got the, the, the typical upper little twist there. Sometimes they, they kind of bend forward. You can see this one, the uh, pitcher mouth bends forward a bit more than you see on the lowers. But there's a lot of vine up here. Um, so this vine is probably eight feet, maybe nine feet. Uh, we're letting it go. Uh, we're hoping to flower it. Uh, the last plant that we were doing this with was Maxima tentana that did eventually flower. Um, <laughs> It, it had grown out of the vent, but it produced a flower, so hopefully this one will flower before that because uh, that was pretty inconvenient for the Maxima tentena. Uh, but Nepenthes ramispina hybridizes really, really nicely. So uh, there is a hybrid with Nepenthes spathulata that was done by Borneo Exotics, which is fantastic. Uh, it preserves a lot of the colored Nepenthes ramispina, but uh, it's a little bit bigger and it uh, doesn't have quite the vining habit. Uh, and there are a couple other ones that are a bit more obscure. So. Hopefully this will flower soon. It should be a it should be a nice hybridizer once it does, but uh, you know eventually we'll take cuttings of this and, and it'll be made available. But uh, you know keep keep in touch <laughs> if you're looking for Nepenthes ramispina. It does also produce basil's, so uh, we should be able to harvest some of these basil's at a certain point. And you know it's around. It's just uh, it's a little bit less common than certain other species. But it's a really beautiful plant. Uh, it's very elegant, very shapely, um, and has just fantastic color. So that's Nepenthes ramispina from uh, Peninsular Malaysia. Remember to like and subscribe to see more species spotlights, and uh, ask, feel free to ask questions in the comments.